And the breaking news that we start with comes from politics. Former state Senator Karen Carter Peterson is now officially charged in federal court with one count of wire fraud in connection with raiding her campaign war chest and using those funds to feed a gambling addiction. WDSU's Aubrey Killian live right now in the newsroom with the very latest on these charges or this charge that just came down. Aubrey. Hey, Travers. So this is a major update and an indication that Peterson is cooperating and will eventually plead guilty. So Peterson is facing one count of wire fraud in connection with accusations of raiding her campaign funds and using the money for gambling. She's also accused of misappropriating funds while chair of a state political party. The Bill of Information claimed that Peterson exploited her position by making her associates provide campaign related services to companies operated by her associates. The New Orleans Democrat abruptly resigned from the state legislature. That was back in April. She had previously admitted to having a gambling addiction and days after her resignation, WDSU investigates confirmed that Peterson was being investigated by the feds. Sources also say that she recently repaid some of the money she used from campaign accounts for gambling. Her lawyer, Brian Capitelli, just issued this statement moments ago. He says this marks an important step in Ms. Peterson's recovery as she continues to address her gambling addiction. She is sincerely remorseful for her compulsive behavior resulting from this addiction and has made full repayment of funds used as a result of her addiction. She has been forthright, honest, and cooperative with the U.S. Attorney's Office and their investigation. Now, Peterson served as a state lawmaker that was for 20 years and ran the state's Democratic Party from 2012 to 2019. I also reached out to the Democratic Party for a comment multiple times. Stay with us on this developing story. Travers, back to you. All right, Aubrey, thank you. We should point out a bill of information is an indication that Karen Carter Peterson has been charged and will eventually plead guilty to this crime. Her attorney does confirm that a guilty plea is imminent in this case. We're joined live by Laura Canazero Rodriguez, a longtime prosecutor. Miss Rodriguez, let's just cut to the chase here. A guilty plea is imminent. She faces a max of 20 years in jail and heavy restitution. Will we see any of that or will her cooperation possibly win over favor with the judge here and keep her out of jail? Uh, I don't see cooperation winning uh, enough favor to eliminate the total restitution or necessarily keeping her out of jail. Certainly cooperating will benefit her, but this is a pretty egregious crime. We see here um, her taking contributions, you know, going out there asking donors to contribute to her camp campaign, um, assuming under the premise that she will do the right thing for the state to lead her party, et cetera, and then taking that money, giving it to people or companies and asking them to essentially give it back to her to feed her gambling addiction. So Let me there's ask... going to be very little sympathy here for her, even though she's cooperating. This is a very egregious uh, a charge. Let me ask you this really quickly, and it's an insider question. The case has been assigned to Judge Sarah Vance. Sarah Vance has been down there a long time on the federal bench. She's no stranger to political corruption. She actually sentenced former Plaquemines Parish Sheriff Jeff Hingle to a pretty stiff penalty. And one of the reasons for that years ago was because he was an elected official and the judge felt like he should have known better given his power. Do you think she takes the same course of action with Karen Carter Peterson? I do. I expect her to be consistent here. You know, we hold our elected leaders um, to a certain standard. And these are people who are donating money, hoping to see something improve in their state, hoping to donate money to leaders who they think will do the right thing and lead our state in the right direction. For her to turn around and take that money um, and basically steal money from people as an elected official promising to do the right thing, uh, I expect the judge to maintain her position here in saying, we expect more from elected officials and this is not where I will use my leniency as a judge. Yeah, Laura Kenazero Rodriguez always we appreciate your time and your legal knowledge. Quite uh, a fall from grace for Karen Carter Peterson. We'll have much more on this developing story. You can get the very latest 
on our website, WDSU.com, and our free mobile app. But to quickly recap, Karen Carter-Peterson, former heavyweight politician, one of the biggest political figures in Democratic politics, not in the city of New Orleans, but in the state of Louisiana, has been formally charged. One count of wire fraud. It's a bill of information, an indication, and her lawyer confirms that she is cooperating and will eventually plead guilty. Aubrey Killian will have much more coming up at 4 or 5.